Next we're going to talk about is due dates. This is important, especially if you're working on a time-based project, which makes perfect sense for our wedding board here. You can assign due dates to cards and that is a good way of keeping track of what's due when just so you can budget or maybe the project has again a milestone to hit uh, somewhere around halfway point let's say and you want to track that in order to track that you need to assign due dates to these cards and how you do that is you again everything begins with clicking on a card so we'll go ahead and click on this card you see a bunch of options here and due date is where you click the date always defaults to the next day when you click on it and the time always defaults to 12 p.m. and then you can change this obviously so we'll let's say we pick the 30th of December this is when it's due and again I usually don't mess with the time but if it, if this is a timely thing that you want to maybe have it done by 2 p.m. you can do that it's you can just delete the one and if you want to change this to a.m. just go ahead and change the p.m. to a.m. and that's it now once you save it you will be able to see that this card is due at 2 a.m. on December 30th again everything goes in activity so you'll see who did it and when they did it and if you don't want to see this you can hide details if you want to see it you can again show details and that shows you all the activity that happened with this particular board um, one thing to note on due dates you cannot control the color there are three colors that Trello provides you that are the standard default colors for due dates this is grayed out because it's not due for a long time if something was due let's say tomorrow so let's go back to tomorrow and let's put this to p.m. if something was due tomorrow depending on how far out it is this is still more than 24 hours so it will stay gray but if I do it less than 24 hours let's say I do it at 7 a.m. Now you see the color changes to orange. Um, again, this is something default that Trello doesn't allow you to change. So we have to work with what we have, but remember it's free. And then if I change this to today and let's put this at 12 PM today, you'll see that the color doesn't change. So you have gray, you have yellowish orange, whatever you want to call this gold. And the final color you have is red. Red is when something is overdue. So if I change this to 7 a.m. today, it turns to red. This means that this was past due. You need to work on this. You need to finish this. That's, that's how the colors work for due dates. Again, not something you can change, but it's great to have because now you have timelines that you, you have to hopefully abide to. So let's change this back to December 30th. And then once you close out, you will see that it shows on the face of the card. This is called a card face. And then once we go in here, this is called a card back. So it shows up on the card face. And again, it shows all the activities related to that particular board. In this one, we changed the due date a bunch of times and you'll see that everything keeps getting recorded and it shows you when it was done. So this one says it was done two minutes ago. Uh, to X out of a card, you simply hit this little X on the top right corner or on the keyboard, you just hit the escape button. So you can see here when a due date was entered. So the due date is November 30th, but when did someone enter this? So all you do is click on the card. And here you can see this was added on November 9th. I love the feature of activity, how you can trace everything back to where it originated from who did it and then you can even ask questions why they did it and that's how you add due dates to cards